it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me for another Simple Stamping Saturday. Right, so last week I did an unboxing of the Christmas gifting kit um, and I'll show you the tags that we made. But there were some die cuts left over, well, that actually were in inverted commas waste, um, and I wanted to put them to use. So this week I'm putting some of those to use. So let me flip the camera down and we will get started. So here we are. Oh, my camera's in slightly the wrong place. Let me just adjust it a teeny bit. That's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Um, so these were the tags that we made. So we've got this one with a, actually, let me just remove the things that are underneath. Um, otherwise it's a bit of a giveaway. So this is the first one. Now these all have little pockets in the back. So if you're um, giving something like, I don't know, um, a voucher, they can go in the back. So they become the gift as well as the tag. So we've got this one with a Christmas tree, a little something for a friend. This one with a star which I've used the Merry Christmas, and this one, which is just for you. So it means that we have bits left over. So Christmas trees and stag heads and things. And I wanted to use them. So the first card that I made was this one. And this is the one we're going to make today. And you can see it says for someone special. So it's the stag head doesn't need to be Christmas this could be for anyone uh, and note card uh, I'm actually gonna make a Christmas tree this time a Christmas tree one only because then I'll be using up more Christmas trees um, but the principle is the same apart from the fact it means I need to swap out the sentiment and the ink pad so let's do a quick swap of ink pad to start with so literally all I've done and this is on one of our basic white note cards is add some glue pop your die cut on your note card simple grab the stamps now the stamps are amazing because there's only one that's really Christmassy which is the Merry Christmas which of course is the one that I'm going to use now but we've got Merry Christmas just for you for someone special enjoy a little something for a friend to and from which is always useful and from our home to yours so Merry Christmas is the only sentiment that uh, you could say is Christmassy so what's not to love about what's left in the kit? I mean, it's just wonderful. So let me ink up my Merry Christmas. And there is our card, done. Simple as, now you've got nine die cuts to use up, so nine cards that you can make with the die cuts so that was my really simple one um, let me grab the others so my first stepped up version is again with the Christmas tree and I've just layered it on black because I like that pop of red on black I've used the same sentiment but this time I've used silver embossing and I've used some of the festive pearls which come in a pack of real red uh, soft succulent red uh, gold and silver I've actually used the silver ones here so that they look like baubles on the Christmas tree and I've just cut some mats very simply uh, layered up with black dimensionals and yeah really quick and easy Christmas card the next one could be used for any occasion and I haven't put a sentiment on it and it's this one using the stag which I've put on with dimensionals uh, then I've used the decal edged rectangles the dies and again I've picked out the this time I've got the soft succulent pearls so yeah really simple all on mint macaron 
so tone on tone again so really quick really easy but really great uses for what otherwise would be leftover die cuts so i hope that's given you some ideas so as well as your nine tags you can make nine cards just by adding a set of note cards um, you can make the nine cards add some pearls as well and that's just perfect just to add a little bit of extra um, and then you've got your sentiments ready to go. So yeah, I hope that has inspired you, given you some ideas of how to use the kit beyond making the tags, because I think that's always important. And of course, the sentiments will be useful for all sorts of projects that you can come up with in the future once you've used up your die cuts. So thank you very much indeed. I'll flip the camera back up so I can say goodbye properly. Thank you very much indeed for watching today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I, as I record this, I'm about to go to Vienna and when you're watching it, I'm still in Vienna. We're on the last day of on stage, which will be amazing. Um, I will have been sharing some behind the scenes bits and pieces on my Instagram account. So there's still time to go and have a look at that. Uh, there's a link to that over on my website, which you can get to just through all the links on my um, in the description bar. If you've got any questions or comments, you can leave those in the area below the description bar. If you've enjoyed this, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And until next time, have a great time and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.